Hi, friends. This is Bugs Bunny, reminding you that fantasy is everybody's business. <laughs> Paid for by Suffering Succotash, Washington, D.C. There and put another dime in the dryer. Excuse me. Hmm? I couldn't help but notice. Notice what? Are you a professional cartoonist? Or is this just a hobby? Oh. I saw a cartoon every once in a while. Did you ever try any animated cartoons? Oh, yeah. I've done that. But it's so discouraging. Networks aren't willing to spend any money on animated cartoons anymore. Nowadays, all they care about is having as little movement as possible. Well, they had me working for three years on a series that took place in a home for crippled ventriloquists. Hi-ho! What do you say, Bungo? Hoop-de-doo! Everything's okay by me, Bingo! Gosh, Rudy! It's okay by me, too, Bungo! <laughs> Hi-ho, the Dario! That's swell, Bingo! Yeah! Whoopee! Oh, Yay! Yeah. It wasn't any fun. I had the darndest time trying to get those guys to hold still. Sounds as bad as the racket I'm in. Hey, you know anything about politics? Here. Yeah. I manage political campaigns. I'm Bernie Wibble. Last month, we ran Dave Monahan for mayor of Akron. Now, there was a man of ideals, integrity, warmth, spontaneity, imagination. How did he do? Didn't stand a chance. I guess people just won't vote for anybody of any substance anymore. Now, well, you take the presidency. I haven't had a real human being in the White House for 30 years. I'm beginning to think the people of this country would vote for a cartoon character. You know, I bet they would vote for a cartoon character. I'll bet I could get a cartoon character elected president of the United States, if I engineered his campaign right. <coughs> Bernie. Let's do that! Huh? Do what? What you have to capture is the look of someone who is trying to mean what he says, but isn't succeeding very well. I don't know. I found that I always have to believe in a character if I'm going to draw him. Yeah, well, you believe in him if you want to. I have to manage his campaign. No, no, that's no good. That's too much character. Try it again. Try to give him kind of... Tired, empty eyes. As if anything he sees is a new source of exhaustion. Okay, like a newspaper editor. Yeah, 
Yeah. And a very indefinite smile. In fact, a very irresolute mouth. As if any expression that settles there won't stay there very long. I'll try that. The mouth has no sympathy for the rest of the face. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, this guy's gonna make it. He's got no expression at all. Yeah, right now, he doesn't even have a name. Right now, he doesn't even have a nose. How shall I draw the nose? Brown. Yeah. How's that? That's fine. That's fine. That's perfect. What do you want to call it? Uh, well, let's think. Warren Wasp. Bozo. Fred Freedom. Bosco. Joe Cool. Dumbo. We have to think positive. Perhaps something like Peter President. Nice, isn't it? It's roomy and everything. All right, boys. This week we're pushing education. In two weeks, the time will be right to come out against poverty and in favor of employment. Oh. As we get to discover this, friends of cotton and Miss Miss Finch, take this memo, file it in a memo. And the enemies of oil slicks in Santa Barbara. Okay. Could you get me a cup of coffee? You can't have him get you a cup of coffee. He's the president. Do it so you get him a cup of coffee. Oh, sure. Hey, Peter, come here and I'll get you a cup of coffee. Now, Bernie, that was great artwork in the inaugural address, but you should have drawn the Secret Service men in invisible ink. Now, this week, you've got to animate Peter throwing out the first baseball. Wow. Greeting the astronauts when they come back from Alpha Centauri. It was a long trip, Mr. President. Can we take our helmets off now? And his first press conference. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Mr. President, some critics of the previous administration's foreign policy have suggested a complete revision of our priorities in this area. What are your thoughts about this? Now, this whole question has been constantly under study, and it will continue to be studied. And I will give my conclusions when I have seen the results of everybody's opinions and analyses. Mr. President, in your inaugural address, you spoke of the need for resource development programs. Could you be more specific about this? I would be glad to answer, and I think I know. But I could be wrong, and I will answer that next time. I believe I am familiar with the exact situation, but I don't want to be mistaken. I will say this. There are certain things which I believe are for the good of the country, and I am going to push for them wherever I think they are important. Thank you, Mr. President. That's all, folks. Lance, could I talk to you about something? Bernie, it's really great running a cartoon character's life. You can set up a hundred appointments for him in one day, and he doesn't need a lunch break, a coffee break, or even one minute of sleep. He doesn't even have to go to the bathroom. Why didn't anybody think of this before? Lance, there's something that's been bothering you. Yeah, something's been bothering me, too. These drawings she did to Peter at the Budapest Convention are pretty sloppy. No president should have to go around drawing like that. Lance, there's an oppressed minority in this country, and I just can't keep silent about it any longer. Bernie, why do you insist on using the bats of Peter's old drawings? You hold them up to the light, you can see what he did last week. Lance, the cartoon characters in this country are in real trouble. Do you know where Bambi is now? He's in a zoo, in Yonkers. Hey, what do you think Farmer Alfalfa's doing? Well, they found him on a street corner selling the Sunday funnies. And Betty Boop runs up a, a whorehouse in Levittown. Yeah? And just last week, they made a tennis racket out of Crazy Cat. Bernie, you sound so serious. 
Who's dubbing in your voice? I am serious, Lance. Come here and look out the window. Has the media picked up on this yet? Bugs Bunny was interviewed on the news last night. Now, sir, how did you feel when you were put on sale here in this What? How did you feel when you were put on sale here in this pet store? How do you feel interviewing a rabbit? Bernie, you're right. It's a serious problem. We've got to get on it right away. You know what we should do? We should write our congressman about it. And I mean tonight. Now, Bernie, this consolidated commerce conglomeration is the biggest power block we've faced yet. You realize what's happened? All the conglomerates in the country have merged. Now, we're meeting with their board of directors tomorrow, and if we don't handle these guys right, we're in trouble. Oh, and get rid of these, will you? Looks like we're running some sort of weird giveaway deal. Now, Mr. President, available for the first time from the Consolidated Commerce Conglomeration. Makers of Ain Coca Sets, Pea Brand Frozen Bird's Eyes, Bernstein's Ball Berries, and everything else in the country. The product that combines all the growth and development of the past 50 years, plus all the vast resources of this great nation of ours, wrapped up into one. One what? One product. Panacea. What does it do? It works wonders on my athlete's foot. Tastes great on pancakes. Gives my patrol car more miles to the gala. Look at the trophy I won in the National Roller Skating Derby. Thanks to Panacea. I'll put it on display in this teak wood cabinet I just glued together with Panacea. And it makes great bait, too. Keeps me witty and funny for up to eight hours. Panacea. It also keeps your underarms dry. Oh. Well, it sounds like you have a winner there. Yes, sir, we certainly have. As a matter of fact, in all our research, we've run into only one unfortunate drawback. What's that? You must realize, Mr. President, that anything you put into your body is going to have some sort of unpleasant side effect. Because pestilences on the whole have such a bad name, we feel that certain fanatics in the Food and Drug Administration might get overly concerned. Yeah, those guys will badmouth any epidemic. Besides, a significant minority of those tested were not troubled with bubonic problems at all. In any case, Mr. President, the renaissance of the plague will create a significant market potential for bubonics. Our new and extremely effective plague antidote. Only $7.95 per bottle, but slightly higher below the Arctic Circle. Uh, this antidote is... Wait, wait, wait a minute! Athletes, Are you trying not to tell us that panacea gives you the bubonic plague? Of course, without your endorsement, Mr. President, there is considerable danger that the Food and Drug Administration will interfere with the marketing of these fine products. Thereby creating economic turmoil and widespread unemployment. This endorsement may take any number of forms. Say, a speech on television? A memo to the Food and Drug Administration. Or your picture on each and every bottle of Panacea and Bubonics. We will not do this. I'm surprised to hear you say that, Mr. President. Yeah. It's not like you. I'll come now, Mr. President. Now our terms are easy. You don't have to make up your mind today. You can take up to 10 days to give us your endorsement. Call anytime, day or night. Toll free. The number to call in New York is 800-347-9311. That number, once again, is 800-347-9311. We will not do this. The newly formed Consolidated Commerce Conglomeration today removed all supplies of India Inc. from the markets of the world and sent them back to India. No statement has been issued from the White House since this action was taken. Sure you're upset about it. I'm upset about it. You really shouldn't have said anything at that meeting. Maybe we ought to try to keep out of these situations if we can. Peter. Peter. Oh, my God. The worst is here. He's gone catatonic. Hold everything. The Secretary of the Interior just found an old bottle of ink in the cabinet. Hurry up, Lance. I think we can save him, but he needs a transfusion. What?
If only he'd listen to me. If only he held still. I told him not to make any unnecessary movements. Is coming back. He's gonna make it last. He's gonna make it. He's gonna pull out of the way. Only enough for a time. I told you to stock up on ink. I mean, you should have brought crates of it in here. You should have been stumbling over it in the hall. Hanging your hat on it. Eating your dinner off a chair in your bed with it. The White House should have been black with the stuff. Don't you ever think of practical things? Bernie, you're not listening to me. Now, who's going to erase those? I am not going to erase those. Wait a minute, Bernie. I've got an idea. Yeah? What's your idea? Don't we still have a bunch of Peter's old drawings on file somewhere? Yeah, I think so. We could use them over again. Recycle the president. We'll try it out at Wednesday's press conference. Mr. President, have you any comment to make on the recent India ink embargo? Now, this whole question has been constantly under study, and it will continue to be studied. And I will give my conclusions when I have seen the results of everybody's opinions and analyses. Mr. President, it is rumored that the Consolidated Commerce Conglomeration is pressuring the Food and Drug Administration for approval of a new and possibly dangerous product. If this is true, sir, what do you intend to do about it? I would be glad to answer, and I think I know. But I could be wrong, and I will answer that next time. I believe I am familiar with the exact situation, but I don't want to be mistaken. I will say this. There are certain things which I believe are for the good of the country, and I am going to push for them wherever I think they are important. It worked, Bernie. Nobody noticed. We sure solved that. Well, I don't know. Of course, we can't keep this up forever. I mean, a couple of years, people are going to catch on. But we'll think of something else by then. So the ink strategy didn't work. But we've got other tricks up our sleeves. Are you with me, boys? Right, boss. We're with you. All right. Now, our mistake was in trying to reach a flunky like the president. You see what I mean? What I mean is that we gotta go to the source. That cartoonist, Bernie Wibble. Get me? Gotcha, boss. Take him for a ride.
had boils on her nose. She kept spitting blood and spoiling her clothes. The leper she dated soon found her too dirty. Since trying new bonnets, she expects to see thirty. Shrink ugly boils, chase black tongue away. Try new bubonics, pills, cream, or spray. Bernie never really understood how far we could have gone with this scheme. To the day he disappeared, he didn't realize what we could have done with it. But you and I won't have any problems working together. As long as we understand the realities involved. Yes. Yeah. Should be good for a laugh. Oh, uh, could you bring me some more bubonics? Uh.